Edred was a son of Edward the Elder, by his third wife Edgifu, and was born around 923. He was the grandson of Alfred the Great. He came to the throne when his elder brother Edmund the Magnificent, was stabbed to death. Edred was consecrated by Archbishop Oda of Canterbury at Kingston-upon-Thames, where he received the submission of Welsh rulers and northern earls. Edred was reported to be a small and slightly built man, who suffered from ill health for most of his life. Nevertheless he was a man of considerable courage. Edred controlled Northumbria, and forced the Scottish nobility to submit, but it was a temporary submission. In 947, Northumbria soon fell under the control of Eric Bloodaxe, previously King of Norway. Edred ravaged Northumbria and sacked Ripon. He threatened Northumbrians to desert Eric Bloodaxe. The threat was successful, and the Northumbrians paid heavy fines and threw out the Norse leader. While he was dealing with the troublesome Archbishop of York, Olaf Citrixen established himself as King of Northumbria. Olaf's reign was short, in 952 he was thrown out by Eric, who reigned until 954. Eric was slain by Edred's supporters at Stainmore in Cumbria. Edred gained control for the third time, and ruled Northumbria for the remaining year of his reign. Edred died of a long-standing and unidentified illness, possibly a digestive problem that made him unable to consume anything. Edred died at Froome, Somerset, and was buried in the Old Minster in Winchester. Though he was aged 32 at the time of his death, there is no record of Edred ever marrying, and he had no heirs. On his death, the throne passed to his nephew Edwig. The chief achievement of his reign was, to bring the Kingdom of Northumbria under total English control, which occurred with the defeat and expulsion of Eric Bloodaxe.